Hi guys, welcome to my channel Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life. My name is Elena Semenek and today's topic is why am I not happy in relationship? Why am I unlucky in love? For example, you've met a person and your relationship is not growing or maybe you've met a person and at first you thought that it's such an amazing and it's going to be something more this time in your life but something's happening and your relationship is not moving on or maybe you uh, are getting disappointed in your partner every time over and over again or maybe you cannot meet a person maybe you have problems at the beginning of the relationship you go in for the first date, go in for the second date, and then something is happening. So what's wrong? If you feel like the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth partner is uh, nothing is happening, like you're not happy, you're like in the same pattern, then this video is for you. The first and the hardest thing is to accept, is to accept that you are not happy in a relationship is to accept that you unlucky in love there's something wrong it's hard to understand that maybe it's not about the partner maybe it's not about the men who are bad or maybe it's not about the women who are selfish maybe there is something wrong in your behavior maybe you are doing something that creates such relationship maybe your behavior somehow brings you the result that you have so what might be the reason why you are unlucky in love the first reason is you don't know how to choose the right person so you are choosing from the beginning the person who is not available for loving relationship the person who cannot create a loving relationship usually it happens because you learn from your childhood about the bad unhealthy relationship for example maybe your parents uh, uh, did not love each other maybe your parents had a really hard divorce maybe your parents were fighting a lot or maybe one of your parents was so busy at work so you did not have enough attention so in this case, you are learning uh, love equal pain, love equal uh, struggles, and you kind of creating this relationship in your life that's bringing you back to your childhood. So basically, you don't uh, do it on purpose, of course, but you are choosing a person with whom you're gonna go through the pain because for you, you don't know how to create a happy relationship. You don't know how to behave. You don't know what to say but you do know how to create unhealthy relationship you do know how to behave in those relationships so you're choosing a partner who also does not know how to build a healthy relationship who also does not know what the love means you don't know how to choose the right person because you don't know how to be happy you have no idea what happy relationship means you did not have such experience in your life so you kind of recreating what you know and if your parents relationship were unhappy were unhealthy were painful then it's a very big chance that you will go um and repeat their pattern because you just don't know how to do it differently this is very painful this is hard and little by little you have to come out from this situation you have to understand uh, on a deep level inside you that your life can be different from your parents life and you can learn a different uh, type of relationship you can learn how to create a different relationship and what does it mean to be happy the second reason why you're not happy in the relationship might be because you are acting as a victim so when you were a little your parents were telling you it's not only about you you should think about others let uh, this person do it first your brother is younger so let him do it first your sister is older so she knows better let her do it first so you've been used to uh, do everything for other people 
you feel like you're a victim uh, it also happens subconsciously so you're not doing it on purpose but you when you meet a person when you create a relationship it's always about other person it's never about you so in this case uh, people who like to use others they will see you right away because you will give such a subconscious body language signals that it's okay to use me um, a lot of women will choose a man who will um, have sex with them, who will have short time, fun relationship with them and then disappear. So players like to choose this kind of women. And uh, this is a, also a very hard uh, situation and it's very hard to start doing something for yourself. It's very hard to think about yourself when for many, many years uh, you used to do it for others. It's not easy, but it's possible. Little by little, you should do something for yourself and you should see if your partner uh, is willing to do something for you. And if it's only one way street, then go and find another road. The third reason why you are not happy in relationship or why you are unlucky in love might be the fear of intimacy. And here I'm not talking about the sexual intimacy. I'm talking about the fear of being in closed relationship. When a person is afraid to be vulnerable. At some point you will realize that uh, your partner has also negative qualities. So everyone is not perfect. And a woman will see that her man might be rude sometimes, might be tired. Uh, might be lazy and a man might see that she is not always putting a makeup on her face she is not always beautiful she might be in a bad mood she also might be rude sometimes it's hard to show your vulnerability to your partner and it's hard to accept the vulnerability of other person everyone want to be with the perfect partner uh, with a perfect woman and a perfect man but every perfect person has uh, some negative qualities and that's normal and the fear of uh, being with the unperfect person the fear that the other person will know that I'm not perfect the other person will know that I, um, I have some bad qualities is a huge fear and it's better to break the relationship it's better to end the relationship it's better not to go into deep feelings it's better not to go into deep trust with your partner so people are breaking up the relationship before they even started people some people are enjoying the relationship at the beginning but when it's time to go on the next stage on the next step uh, they're breaking up a uh, woman can create a drama or man can decide you know like you know I'm not ready I don't want it right now but the reality is the person might be ready the person might want to have a loving caring profound relationship but that fear inside is growing and we're not going um, to the next step we're not doing the next step so there are three main reasons why people are unhappy in relationship, why people are unlucky in love. And the question is what to do in this situation, what you can do, how you can change your life. Uh, at this point, when people are realizing that there is something wrong in their behavior, they usually go to life coach or psychologist. Because just to hear the reasons, uh, it's not going to change your life. Uh, even if you know what's happening, even if you know your pattern, uh, it's not going to change your life. Because this is a habit. You already created this habit and it's not so easy to get rid of fears inside you. But what if you cannot? What if you are not ready yet to ask for professional service? What can you do for yourself? You can read books. You can read books about relationship. You can go and investigate this um, problem deeper. 
you can watch some videos on YouTube. Try to surround yourself with the happy couples and see how they solve their problems. Check out the videos below this video in the description box. I already posted several videos about what a man wants in a relationship, what a woman wants in a relationship, how to be happy, sex versus money. Uh, start uh, your journey. Share this video with your friends, post it on your Facebook, uh, on your Twitter, subscribe to my channel, uh, click the bell icon to receive notifications of new videos. Thank you for watching Psychology of Happiness, where happiness is the purpose of life.